Welcome back, everybody, to my everybody's golf on PlayStation 4. By sheer coincidence, one of the um, single player tournament games is Vortex Valley, regular T's normal cups, which happens to be the EG Cup 8 final round, so we're going to give it a go. Standard clubs. Um, can't quite get it down to the skill level it'll make you use in the final, but we do a reasonable approximation. It's the first hole. Ah, where's that gone? I might be alright. The slope should help me out a little bit. Yeah, we're okay. Missed the impact. So 95 to go. Bit of wind. A tiny bit uphill. Oh, good shot. Mm, we're up there. Got a birdie pup. 11 footer. Inchy pops. It's a birdie to start it. And two's an uphill par three. So this is about judging the wind and the um and the slope. Seven iron? Might be a bit short. We'll just do a little bit of an overhead six. On the front? Yeah, I'm gonna skip on. Yeah, still a little bit underpowered. 12 footer though. Relax. Oh, backdoored it. Just decided it wanted to drop him. It's a birdie birdie start. But to be honest, the first couple of holes aren't where the problems are. It gets more difficult. So the difficulty here is you've got to hit round the corner. The wind's going to take you this way, but the fairway wants you to roll out to the left. So the trick, I use the word trick advisedly, is to try and get a bit of spin on it. Oh, neat shot! To try and turn that corner, but you don't want to land too far left, but you don't want to land too far right. And I landed too far right. You needed to be about five yards left. However, we've got a shot. Slightly out the rough. Yeah, three hours the best I can do, so I may as well aim for this in reality. Let's see if I can get a shot off the short stuff. A nice shot. Nice bit of auxiliary fairway. Go on, get up there. It's not going to. Okay, so we've got a 50 yard around the rough. See how one mistake leads to a load more? You just got to be so careful. Okay, so we've got a bit of wind. It's a fair way, it's a fair way. It's a fair old way uphill. We've got it up there. And we've got ourselves close. So we got a birdie pup. Which considering we missed the fairway and we missed the um, the second shot, it's not bad. But we got our chip close. So three under, now it starts getting hard. So four, there's a cutout and a cactus. So what you really want to do is try and play it along this little corridor so it rolls out here. The problem is to do that, you've got to spin it, and that brings this cactus into play. So your choices are choke up, so just play up here, and then play a longer second shot or go for it. I think I'm going to play slightly choked up shot. Just the three iron. And just get myself on the short stuff and then play a bigger second shot. Like that, so that's position A. Gives you 155 to go, which means it's a longish iron, a six. But it only gets you into wedge range anyway, so. If you go big, and it's more risk, so we don't take the risk. It's a bit of wind. It's a bit downhill. Go on, skip on. That's all right, apart from the line. Pace is good. Get her inside. Ten foot, nine foot? Yeah, ten foot. So we've got a birdie pup. That's slightly tougher. 
Gotta be inside 15 foot though. There you go. Got it. So four. Now five's even more troublesome. If you've got the custom clubs, you can just drive the top green here. However, comma. We don't have enough power really to consistently. You know, if you hit a backspin, perfect impact. Although a downwind probably can get it up there. Alright, we'll give it a go. I mean, the other option is you choke up, you play over here somewhere. Gives you a chip at the green. Do you know what? We're going to play the safe shot. We're not going to be idiots. Let's just get it so we can play it. Because it takes the bogey, double bogey out of play. Because there's a bit of out of bounds between the two. See there? You end up in those rocks, you're out of bounds. So, a bit of wind, uphill. You kind of got to flop the thing up there. Ooh, well, that's not bad. Not bad, seven foot. Six foot. And we got the birdie part, and we managed to take the bogey out of play. Bogey or worse out of play. If we're going to play a championship, you do not want bogeys. So, four, five birdies. Just a little bit of course management. And don't take risk. Now six. Uh, now, if you downwind, if you land it on that putting surface, you can stop it with backspin, right? You land it anywhere short. Sorry, just taking a drink. Any of this surface here, it's just gonna bound forward and go out of bounds. So your op safe option is to play to here and try and stop it and then chip it down. Or you've gotta go for it and be super confident you're actually gonna hit the shot. So, I'm going to go, oh, my four iron's garbage, I'm going to go three iron. I'm going to go choked up three iron with a bit of backspin on it. And I missed it. Should be alright. Try and stop it on this surface. Like that. And give myself a second shot. So, again, we're slightly downhill, but we've got much less risk of being an idiot and ending up out of bounds. And let's be honest, I'm looking like a massive idiot. Good, good. That's alright. So, got ourselves a five foot birdie putt, which is kind of the objective. Eagles and stuff are nice, but not worth the risk. 18 under is always going to be a good score. If you could birdie everything. So, seven's the par three. It's a par three. Now, where's the pin? Well, the pin's not bad. Super side spin within nine foot of the pin. Doesn't want a lot, does he? Again, long way downhill. Yeah, missed the side spin. We're always going to that lump. Yeah, and go anywhere off that lump. So we're on the fairway, so we've got a chip. Gonna treat this like a long part. Get in the hole. So keep our birdie run going with a little bit of chip magic. So despite messing up the tee shot, we get it. Just remember, though, in the championship will be 20 yards shorter than this, so I will need to practice. So again, two choices. One is give it the big, give it the big belly, big balls, and try and get it on that front fairway. Nah, too much risk. Play it here. Again, it's a little bit of a dodgy surface, but should be able to hold it. Oh, a lot of right-hand sway. Hopefully the wind will keep it. Yeah, hold, 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 hold. Should have played top spin, really. However, we're all right. It's a 97 to go. Basically 100 yards. Bit of wind. A little bit downhill, but nothing major. Master of all. And again, it's almost working backwards. 
So you want a nice pub, therefore you want a nice chip, therefore you want a nice tee shot. So it's not about hitting it as far as you can, it's sort of working backwards. Where's the place to put it to give you the next good shot? Otherwise, you're going to be scrambling around. There we go. Eight under. Now nine, I think we can't reach this. Well, we might be able to reach it. We certainly won't be able to reach it with um, standard, the low standard clubs into the wind. But we can reach it here, so we'll play it. Nice Getting a bit, a bit of run. We got to 300. So, 215 to go. And there's E1. Hmm. Oh no, 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 I won't have this in the final, but I got me three iron. It's a little bit downhill, so we've got a chance of making this. Got the ultra top spin. Ah oh, no, just died. Okay, so now we'll be on the eight ball. Oops. Well, it's up on the surface. Okay, 20 footer for the birdie. Double breaker. It's definitely going to break right. These double breakers are really hard to predict. No, 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 missed it high. Ah, uh, you see what happens? See what happens? Miss a shot, make a par. That's my first two par, I think. Yeah, that's my first two par. But nine putts for the opening nine, it's alright. Just need to make sure of that second shot. Not that it's, it's 215, you see. The safer option is to get down to the end of the fairway and give yourself a shorter chip. Take the eagle out of play. But you'd secure a better chance at the birdie. It's a 10. Again, two sort of fairways here. There's the main fairway, and there's this. So you could play short to here, give yourself a shot in. Or if you're feeling bold and you think you're not going to hit that um, that bunker, you can play down here now. Because the wind's playing me this way. I don't really fancy it because we're going to land it this side. So I'm going to choke up and play here. Oh, good shot. There you go, position 8. The only issue here is you've got the rock right in front of the pin. However, it's not the end of the world, so allow for the wind a little bit. It's not much downhill. Not the super top and side spin. What's the line like? That's not a bad line. That is how you play that hole. Gives us a super birdie chance. So, good start. 11's another par 4. It's a par 4. How much range have we got? Okay, so we can play to this part of the fairway. I might put a bit of shape on it. Should be all right. Yeah, just the natural curve it brings it round for me. Gives you a sort of trickier shot though. If you're on the left hand side, you get a sort of straighter line in. There's not much to aim at here because the the pin's in quite a forward position. So a little bit uphill, a little bit crosswind. Missed it. Didn't get the spin I wanted. We're going to be short. Yeah, in that bunker. So that's a mistake. Again, at the sand, really hard to predict how much power you're going to get. 
Oh, that was all right. We got a little bit of luck there. We get a power pup. That is a tough par four. What's a total index? Yeah, hold next two. Yeah, so three seen as the hardest hole. That par five, and then 11 seen as the second hardest. And I'll buy it. So, par three next. No, par five. So, again, two fairways to play for. You can try the narrow one, or you can play up here, but the bunker's in play. I might try and get it here. We've got it on the short stuff? I think we have. So I was leaning there. That's alright. So 192 to go. Turn here. My four iron's so underpowered, so it is a three iron shot. Okay. It's a heck of a way uphill. Is it that far uphill? Hard to tell because the three iron's so flat. You've got to add much more to get the same effect. Oh, we got it on. That's not bad. It's a 10 foot. Oh, we got the gems. Looks like it slopes up. Breaks to the left. I'm going to go right edge. I'm not convinced this breaks left, Suzuki. You were right. 11 under. Got the eagle. Yeah, strike index 14. So, yeah, it's one of the easier holes. So, par 3's next. is a par 3. Okay, so pins at the back of the green. A little bit of wind, a little bit downhill. We can kind of attack it a little bit. Great shot! Fantastic! Great shot! This a good place to bounce it. That's oh, okay. Hoping to be closer. Putt's not awful. Another birdie. You show him. So in theory, this is the easiest hole on the course by stroke index. It's a par three. Okay, so pin sort of right hand side. And that's a fair old way uphill. It's an eight iron though. We're going to have to play it backspin because it's too close to the front, really, I think, to get it to topspin it. Great shot! Just got it on. Just got it on. Roll with it. Needed more power. Birdie part, though. Ah, I need more power, actually. So another par on the easiest on <laughs> the bloody course. Anyway, okay, par five next. Still got a good score going. It's a par five. So fifteen again. All about where do you want to land it? If the wind's blowing right to left, you can kind of play this line round here. If the wind's blowing left to right, you can play this line. Um, I might play this line just because I think the slope will take it round. Not the impact I wanted. Yeah, natural slope will just take me round a little bit. Oh, not too far, I hope. Ah, oh, it's going to roll me out. No. Oh. See, got to keep it left. So, 2.26 to go. Doesn't want much, does he? For his four gems. So it's a bit downhill. Well, we've got the super backspin. It's all about where it lands. Well, it pitched on a fair old way. It's not going to come back either because it's a three wood. Oh, I got it inside the 30 foot though. So, eagle attempt. The brake kind of slows down. 
but we've got a lever over a bit off it. Tricky one to judge because it's downhill as well. All things being equal, uphill putts are easier. Got it. That gets our par back. So we've got one more par to recover. Looks difficult there. No more real eagle opportunities. It's a par four. It's a 16 again. This is just finding a nice spot on the fairway. Set up that second shot. May even just go shorter here. No point trying to knock the case off it. Risking going right out the front. It's 127 to go. The old eight iron. A little bit downhill. Spin fights wind. Oh, just a touch over cut, but the line was lovely. So birdie pop. Oh, that's a bit short. In you go. It's a 15 under. Two to go, both par fours. It's a par four. It's a 17. Is there a nice spot on the fairway we can find? Well, they're already getting it. That bunker's kind of in prime position for where you want to land that ball. Might have to take a big chunk and a bit of hope. Try and sort of bounce it off the cart track. This is not recommended. But we'll see if we can pull it off. We missed it. Missed it left. Risk of out of bounds. I'm going to need a bounce. Oh, a bit like that. That was ridiculous, but I'll take it. And we've actually got a shot. Oof. Hit a flyer and make the green. Yeah. We're not going to do that. We're going to try and make the green. How close are we? Oh, well, far closer than I thought we'd be. It's a seven foot. Birdie chance despite making a hash of that tee shot. Inchy pops, 16 under. So one to go. Again, all about finding a nice position because you're going to have to hit it over the water. Sort of about thinking about where that ball's going to bounce. Great shot. Oh, I might be a little bit tight. No, I think I'm okay. Gonna get a good shot on that landing spot there. Close ish to the front, but not too close. That's alright. It's a 95 to go. Oh, nice shot! Nice shot! Champion! Go on! Oh! If that had dropped for 18, I'd have been delighted. However, it's going to be 17. Never mind. So again, hopefully that shows you with a bit of careful thought and management, you can score all right. I mean, we'll be 20 yards shorter in the championship, but, you know, 17's all right. I mean, the real issue is if the wind picks up. If you get wind, it just becomes that much harder. But, you know, you've got to play it as you find it, haven't you? So let's have a look at our stats. We definitely missed a couple of fairways, and I'm pretty sure we missed at least two greens. Uh, the driver would be great. Yeah, we missed two greens, I think, and two fairways. I suspect. Let me win some stuff. What do we win? Nice prize. Okay. Gems? No, oh, ball. Ball I don't use. Never mind. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. Please leave us a comment, and I'll see you next time for a bit more of everybody's golf.